What's up guys, Mike here from Ecom Knives and today's video is going to be a little bit different, kind of a vlog style uh, but it's important information, I, I feel the need to share it. While I was on my honeymoon I was sitting on the balcony thinking and thinking and uh, I had gotten some, uh, gotten? I, I got some uh, messages from some of you guys that are messaging me through Instagram or wherever and of course I can't get to them all but I'm scrolling through them and I, I, I'm seeing a common trend lately and it goes a little something like this it's hey Mike uh, I made this cool knife you know and thanks for the, the videos and the tips or whatever and, uh, but I made this cool knife and I can't sell it nobody wants it what, do I, what am I doing wrong I put it up for on my Instagram page, you know, I got my knife here and it's super cool and it's, you know, it's well done and I'm proud of it, but nobody wants to buy it, right? What do I do? And guys, I wish there was a simple answer for this. And because it's not a simple answer, it's why I'm going to make this video. This video is going to be very, very important for knife making. It has nothing to do with making the knife but a lot to do with selling, okay? I came up with maybe five things, five very important things, and we're gonna go over them right now. Okay, uh, number one, this is important. Do what you love and share it with the world. The rest will come naturally. Okay, let me give you an example. If I was making muffins and selling muffins. I hate cooking. I'm terrible at it. I like muffins. Hate cooking them. Don't want to do it. But I force myself every day I'm gonna go make these stupid muffins. Right? And then I go online and I say, hey, anybody want to buy these stupid muffins? Uh, I spent 10 hours of misery in my kitchen making these muffins. Slaving over the stove for these muffins. Do you want my muffin or not? You gonna buy that muffin? No way! You're gonna tell me where to put that muffin. I do like muffins, by the way. <laughs> anyway, but because I don't have the passion for it, because I don't, I'm not interested in it. I don't love to do it. You're gonna pick up on that. If you guys are selling to a customer, and you don't love what you do, they're gonna pick up on that, big time, all day, all night. They're gonna call you out in two seconds flat. Love what you do. If you don't love it, do something that you do love. Don't chase the money. This is number two, right? And part of number one was the everything else will come naturally, including the money. So let's say, okay, you got your knife business like I do, and you love making knives, but you're just focused on the money. Everything's about the money. So think of it this way. If I went on every one of my YouTube videos was, hey, guys, look at this knife, buy it, 200 bucks. Guys, look at this knife, buy it, 100 bucks. And all I'm telling you is buy, 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 gimme, 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 right? I'm not gonna buy anything from that guy. You're, you're, you're being a jerk, right? I, I came here, I'm spending my time, right? If I were a viewer, this is my free time, which is very, very valuable to me. And I just wasted it watching your little sales pitch. If I wanted to watch commercials, I would go watch TV. Right? Why am I going to bother watching you? You're, you're a jerk. You're a used car salesman. No, I'll go buy it from somebody else that isn't going to hassle me every two seconds to buy something. So, don't make it about the money, guys. Do it because you love it and let it come naturally. Okay. Now... I'm going to give you another example, and I practice what I preach. Go look at my website, and notice that it's still exactly the same from when I built it a year ago. About a year ago. Maybe a little less. Since that time, I've sold one. One knife. And that was on purpose. It's so I could focus on providing as much value and helping as much as I can and giving to the knife community as much as I can and studying and building a rapport and working on my product as much as I can so when it's time to sell, when that money's gonna come naturally I'm ready for it. Okay? Now this isn't an ego thing, believe me I can still fit through the doorway with my big head I've even polished it up for the video Seriously guys, don't make it about the money. Okay? 
I'm not saying you have to not sell any knives for a year like I did, but it'll come naturally. Okay, be patient, it'll come. Okay, number three, and to prove a point with this one too, I'm gonna roll in some footage of my honeymoon and my wedding. I know you guys, some of you guys aren't gonna care. I might even get a couple dislikes from it. That's fine. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video regardless, right? So, number three is sell yourself and build a following. Now, of course, selling yourself, which means I have to share my personality with you guys. So, if, if I just come on here like a robot and say, this is how you make a knife, look at my cool knife, $200 please. You know, nobody's going to be interested in that at all. You're not going to grow an audience. And your personality is crap. Nobody cares about uh, your robot personality. So be yourself. Get in front of a camera. Get your cell phone out. Take some pictures. Put up an Instagram. Whatever. And provide some kind of value. Right? So for me, it's tutorials or cool pictures on Instagram or uh, the FAQ series, which I'm shooting next. Whatever you can do to give back to the knife community is essential. Don't worry about the money. If somebody has a question, answer it. Help them. Right? I help every one of my competitors. Every one of them. I have all of my secrets are on video. Every single secret, every little detail of how I do it is right here. And sure, there might be somebody that's going to steal my idea or steal my design or or, or make money off of my labor, but that's the chance I have to take. I'm okay with that, because at the end of the day, my personality is going to help sell. And if you're the type of personality where you're going to steal somebody else's work, you're not going to get very far. You might make a few bucks off of my labor, but you're not going to be able to prosper. I'm thinking long-term, guys. I'm trying not to get too preachy, but I'm I'm kind of passionate about this subject, so we're going to keep rolling. Okay, number four, make the best product you can make. And I struggle with this one big time, guys. You know I got a pile. I mean, there's one right here on the wall. There's a pile of blades in a bucket. I got this knife sitting in my shop that I finished a month ago. Uh, this one, you've seen it in a bunch of videos. been sitting here for six months make the best knife that you can right now inherently as the maker as the creator of the product you're gonna see every flaw and you know what to a to a extent that's not a it's unavoidable so you're gonna to have to reach that that line where you say this is the best I can do it's not perfect it's handmade I understand but it's the best I can do and I'm proud of it if you can't say that, if you can't say, I am proud of this for every knife you put out, don't put it out. Put it aside. Do what you got to do to fix it. Right? I'm not saying you have to be perfect. I'm not. I have not made a perfect knife, and I probably never will. But I try real hard to make it the best knife I can make. You know, buying all this crap. <laughs> in the shop to to kind of upgrade and make it better and grow as the my little knife world grows with me so that was number four guys make the best product you can make make the best knife you can make number five right we're at number five already do the right thing so it's kind of big broad to topic what do you mean by do the right thing? Guys, when I say do the right thing, it's exactly what it sounds like. You know, if it's helping that old lady cross the street kind of deal, right? I'm not saying go and find old ladies and help them cross the street, but when it comes to knife making, if it's not the best product you can make, then fix it or tell them. Be honest. Have integrity. That's huge, guys. You know, say, hey, listen. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this knife up for sale, but it, it's got a scratch right here. I did the best I can to get it out. I can't get it out. I'm sorry. You know, I, I took uh, I took 10% off the price or 20% off the price. 
You know, uh, thank you for considering me. That kind of stuff. Do the right thing. If somebody asks you a question because you've made it a, a little further along in your knife making, uh, let's say you figured it out to get to where I am, which I'm still very much learning. And another maker, your competitor, asks you a question and say, hey, uh, how'd you get that mirror polish? <laughs> this, is a, this is a terrible example, by the way, guys, because a lot of you have asked me how to do this, and I have not yet made the tutorial, but it's coming. So how'd you get that polish? Answer them. Tell them. Be honest. Right? Yeah, you're helping your competitor. But you know what? While that guy was probably never going to buy a knife from you, because he might show his buddy, like, hey, look at this cool polish I got on the knife. I learned it from this guy over here, Ecom Knives, Mike. And now this guy might say, wow, you know, I'm going to go check him out. Maybe I'm, I want maybe buy a knife from him. You see how that works? Doing the right thing has a habit of coming around. And if you trick people, if you deceive people, it has a way of coming around and biting you too. So be honest. Okay. Last one. This is kind of a bonus. Number six, I guess, is patience, guys. Patience. I've been at this for two years, a little over two years now, and I haven't sold that many blades. Let's be honest. I, I haven't because I'm focused on these things in the video that I'm, I'm telling you about. But when it comes time to produce and collect on that patience, I believe I will do well. All right, and this is, like I said, this sounds super egotistical. And you guys know, believe me, I'm not that egotistical guy. Right? It's okay to be proud of your work. Don't get a big head about it, though. Right? So, be patient. Right? If you have the Instagram page where you have 20 followers and you get one like per picture every time you put it up, if you're lucky, be patient, be consistent, and be persistent. Just keep going, keep going. When I started this YouTube video thing, I, I would get two, two views on a video, three views, if I was lucky. That, that, that was it. And then it started growing and growing, and this guy told that guy, and he told his friends, and you know, now I, I love it when I get an email saying, "Hey, uh, you know, you know, uh, I spend more time with my dad now because we found that we like to do this together. We watch your videos, and we we're making a knife together as a father-son project." I got goosebumps just thinking about that. The the, the ability—that's what makes my day. The ability that I, I, I can share what I love to do, and then you guys take it and run with it like that. Best feeling in the whole world. And that's how you have to be, guys. I'm still learning myself. So this is just what I've experienced so far. And I think the patience that I've put into this and the work that I've put into this is starting to come around. It's, I'm starting to get to the the reward will come naturally you get it so hopefully this helps guys you know I think that's geez, that's that's really it I don't know where else to go with this I'm sorry if it was preachy or egotistical or anything guys but it needed to be said alright take this list and go run with it it'll help you I promise I'll catch you on the next video.